Hello, everybody. This is Father John um, from the St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative. Um, I wanted to make this recording. I'm sorry I'm not doing a video recording this time, but because of uh, logistics that got in the way of that, I thought I would at least release this audio recording to try to keep with our pattern of doing two recordings a week. Before we start our next talk on St. John of Damascus, I have a couple of updates for you. Firstly, um, thank you to your thanks to your kind generosity, we have now come to one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars for our uh, scholarship fundraiser. God bless those of you who uh, who gave to the initiative. It's as I've stressed before, um, the initiative doesn't turn away anybody, uh, hasn't turned anyone away anybody for financial reasons. And so the scholarship fund is tremendously helpful um, to the students and families of the initiative. Um, so if, if you can find it in your heart to, to give, um, uh, we would greatly appreciate it. As I've stressed, we're, we're working toward a goal of $10,000 um, at this time. Um, all right, so without further ado, let's, let's uh, talk about St. John of Damascus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In our last talk, we discussed the importance of learning. Indeed, in order to fulfill our purpose as human beings, we must learn, St. John tells us. And in order to learn, we must approach our divine teacher, even Christ the Lord. With this in mind, let's look at the next section from St. John's text. Quote, he says, quote, in sacred scripture, let us hear the voice of him who is the wisdom and power of God the Father. And let us learn the true knowledge of all things that are. Let us approach with attention and in all sincerity and proceed without letting the spiritual eye of our soul be dulled by passions. For even the clearest and most limpid eye will hardly enable one to gain a clear view of the truth. If then the light that is in us, that is to say the mind, be darkness, the darkness itself, how great shall it be? Matthew 6.23 With our whole soul and whole understanding, let us approach. Page 8 We must seek the voice of the Lord in the sacred scriptures. We must seek after spiritual things. But to search after spiritual things, we must look to sacred scripture. It is in the sacred scriptures that we Quote, hear the voice of him who is the wisdom and power of God the Father. We must seek our Savior in the divine scriptures in both the Old and the New Testaments. As our Lord says in the Gospel of John, Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. John 5.39 With that passage in mind, turning to St. John Chrysostom, we read the following, Quote, They might say to him, How, if we have never heard God's voice, has God borne witness to you? And so Jesus says to them, search the scriptures, meaning that the Father had borne witness of him by the scriptures. Indeed, he had borne witness at the Jordan and on the mountain of transfiguration, but they did not hear the voice on the mountain and did not listen to it at the Jordan. This is why he sends them to the scriptures, where they would also find the Father's testimony. End quote. We have the witness of the Father, both at our Lord's baptism and on the mount when he was transfigured. But neither they, nor we, heard the voice on the mount. Thus our Lord says, search the scriptures. Notice the word search. When we search for something, we look for it with careful investigation. This is how our Lord wishes us to read the sacred scriptures, with great care and devotion. Our Lord sends us the scriptures as an aid, by which we may see the testimony of the Father regarding the Son. In the same sentence, he says, quote, let us learn the true knowledge of all things that are. This is a very important sentence, but we will come back to that later. Notice how St. John says we ought to approach our studies with attention, with sincerity. These are qualities that are so simple, yet difficult to cultivate, especially in our distracted, dishonest age. With our whole soul and our whole understanding, let us now approach. How do we devote all of ourselves to something? If we take what St. John says here seriously, indeed, if we take the gospel seriously, this search 
has to be a way of life, not merely something one does some of the time. And this invites a question. How might we make such a search a way of life? We will take this up in our next talk. Until then, may God help all of you through, through the prayers of our Holy Father, John of Damascus. Amen.